Hi, we would like to welcome you to USC Aiken's Coach's Corner. At this time, we're speaking with men's basketball coach, Vince Alexander, and at a later time, I'll be talking with women's basketball coach, Mike Brandt. Everyone knows the men's team does have a lot of returning players from the men's Elite Eight from last year. The women's team does have some returning players as well as some new talent as well. Both those factors will be beneficial. However, I would much rather talk about the upcoming Pacer Madness that we have next week. So for someone who is new to USC Aiken, um, what does Pacer Madness entail for them? I think it entails uh, the opportunity to meet the teams, uh, both men and women's, women's team. Uh, it's an opportunity to meet community folks and also to interact with their uh, student body, with other members of the student body. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, you get to see um, a lot of different games and activities and things like that. But I think the, the big part of it is you get an opportunity to, to meet the teams. Okay. And um, your teams, do they have anything special planned for this event? Anything you can think of that would be out of the ordinary from last year? Uh, not that I can think of. <laughs> I, I usually leave those things up to them. Okay. Um, but I can tell you it's guys, and they don't usually – plan too much they just sort of go with the flow probably just like me <laughs> all righty and there's been a great turnout in the past what are you expecting as far as turnout for this year well i expect a good turnout because our student body really gets involved with this activity um, so I, I think we'll have a great turnout from our student body but i would like to see our community folks get more involved and and have them um, you know be a part of it as well uh, but you know, that's somehow we got to find a way to bridge that gap and be able to bring our community folks in as well and to enjoy uh, this madness because I certainly think the community of Aiken is so instrumental uh, in, in helping us at games because they're here. They're loud, yeah. they're here, um, and uh, they support us a lot. So I'd like to see that part improve. Absolutely. And you've been at USC Aiken for a while. What's your favorite part about Pacer Madness? Um, my, my favorite part would be, you know, the opportunity to see my kids relax, have fun, and enjoy themselves. You know, there's no pressure on them. Yeah. They, they get an opportunity to act up a little bit, you know, <laughs> to, to run around, miss shots, whatever they want to do, because it's, you know, it's not uh, a real game or a real practice. So okay. I, I think that's the, import, that's the part that I enjoy most, that they relax and have fun. Absolutely. And unlike some places who have their Pacer Madness or their Midnight Madness later in the evening, ours is at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. So would you say it's more of a family-friendly event? Oh, I think it is. I think it's, if, if anyone hasn't come, they should come. It is uh, a great family event. Uh, of course, you got the student body. You have uh, the, the athletes and, and all the support staff and so on and so forth. Um, I, 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 if I was a community member and a student, I would definitely be there. Absolutely. And in addition to Pacer Madness, you do have a couple events coming up where people can come and meet the players. What mm -hmm. events are those exactly? Well, we have one uh, event in particular that we're going to be doing, and that's October 23rd from 6 to 8. We're going to do an inner squad scrimmage. Okay. And that will allow our fans to come out and, and see us and see the team, mm -hmm. uh, get an opportunity to meet the players after the scrimmage, and okay. so on and so forth. Great. And you did mention that they will potentially get autographs, hopefully. Yeah, we afterwards. hope to uh, have some autograph posters and things like that um, that we can hand out to the kids or to the student body or whatever it may be. Awesome. Well, thanks for talking with us, and we'll see you again another time. And Thank as you. I mentioned before, we'll be speaking with Mike Brandt in just a moment. And now I'm sitting down with women's basketball head coach Mike Brandt. So, Mike Brandt, you do have Pacer Madness coming up. What do you feel about that? Is that a big tradition here? It is, and we're really excited about it. You know, our players, uh, they really look forward to that throughout the whole year. They always come up with some type of surprise, and a lot of times I really don't know what they're going to do. So <laughs> I'm like anybody else. It's, it's exciting to see what they come up with, the way they want to be introduced, or the way they do, may do a dance or whatever. So uh, we're excited about it, and, you know, hopefully they'll come up with something that's enjoyable to the people that are watching. All right, and then how do you feel about the turnout? You have had a larger turnout in the past. What do you think the turnout will be like this season? Well, hopefully it'll be good. You know, I think everybody, no matter what sport you're in, you appreciate people coming and showing some interest in you. 
Uh, we've had been fortunate to have some good seasons in a row record-wise, you know, both the men's and women's team. Mm -hmm. So I think both of those kind of feed off each other. I think it's great to have two programs that, that are winning and, and it's exciting for other people. You know, you have some people that are definitely men's basketball fans and some that are definitely women's, but a lot of time it, you know, it f uh, overflows and gets into the other and they, you know, you realize, wow, you know, that men's team is great, it's fun to watch and, and vice versa, you know, whoa, that women's team, you know, it's really exciting. So. Hopefully we'll get a good turnout from the, not only the students, but the community also. Good. And um, it is a 7 p.m. event. Would you say that this is something that's family friendly for the community, people like that? Absolutely. I think it's very family friendly. And many times we used to do it at midnight, the actual mm -hmm. Midnight Madness. And um, I think that was fun, but that eliminated a lot of people from coming, especially the yeah. families. And also, it was hard on our players because the basketball season has started and you, you're up late at night and then some teams had to practice in the morning, especially, and we did quite a few times, so it was difficult. So I think having it at 7 o'clock is very family friendly. Um, I think our administrators, you know, take pride in that and they ask the players and the people that are involved in it to keep it family friendly and mm -hmm. I think that's important myself. Absolutely. And you do have some new talent joining the team this season. What does that mean for you in the oncoming season? Uh, that means there's going to be a lot of learning going on. Okay. You know, we just have four players returning and two of them with substantial playing time. Uh, the other two have been through the program for a year or two, which helps. But when you have a lot of newcomers like that, that's going to make it very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, some are freshmen, some are transfers, a couple sophomore transfers. Uh, so that's going to be difficult. Uh, the one thing I think that we're looking forward to is November 18th, and that's when Courtney Millen can join our team because okay. uh, she's uh, finishing out a, a two-year wait on uh, eligibility-wise that she has to wait complete two years. So November 18th, that's a junior coming in that was uh, a couple years ago was an all-conference player at Francis Marion. Yeah. And so that's going to be a person that averaged 15 points in the league already that will be able to plug in. And, and I think she'll be a very welcome addition to our team. So thank you for talking with us, Ms. Mr. Brandt. Uh, this has been Coach's Corner.